Okay, guys. I'll play with the beautiful and amazing the Fill Palette from Red Aspen. It is their first palette launched. It is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. You've got 15 colors in this little package. Always cruelty free because we care about them bunnies and them bubbies. But first off, to do the love technique, is you want to level your base so that you've got pretty much a canvas to work with. I usually do this when I put my foundation on, and I did, um, to give you a clean slate so that you have no chance to not have the pigments have their full potential. So, okay. Next, I'm going to start with Dream. I grab my angled brush and these are super super pigmented so you don't need a lot <laughs> i'm like going to tap it in okay that's how much i have my brush i'm going to tap it on and then get it going on my eye brush just to make sure I haven't gone super crazy with this dark brown right here okay awesome now this next step you can use glitter primer you can use your finger you can have a wet makeup brush however you want to put this on it's gonna go on and it's gonna be amazing so I'm gonna show you with my finger you can see how he says so I'm gonna take it I'm just tapping it in okay on my finger and I'm just gonna tap it on my eye and if you don't have brushes, guys, fingers are pretty good at blending. Now, I don't rinse on my brushes right away, so I do have this brush still with black on it. Well, the dark brown, and I'm just going to tap on the top, kind of blend in that bliss, but also put a little bit more brown on, or the black brown. Dark brown, dream. I'm going to put more dream on so that she doesn't get super carried away with the bliss okay See, that's with the thing that's just with a finger okay now I'm gonna show you using glitter primer so I use the NYX glitter primer and you want a pretty stiff brush so I'm gonna use a crease but a uh, cream shadow brush okay I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush here okay you see that just just a little bit okay and I'm just going to Apply it to my lid exactly where I want it. And then I've got to grab a different brush, preferably thick as well, and spray that down with some water so I can pick up the pigment. Okay, brush is wet, glue primer's on, and I'm dipping it into the bliss. You can see it picked up a little bit more here. And then with this, you just have to tap it on. You can tell already that this goes exactly where you want it because I don't have it, I don't have to mess with Dream again. And then this one, a little bit more to here. Okay. So I really don't have to mess with it on over here because I am going to tap it just a, a bit to match the other side. But. With the glitter primer, it pretty much stays exactly where you want it. This one with my finger, it got kind of crazy. <laughs> and it's also more bold with the glitter primer. But that is with it with the glitter primer and with using your finger. Really poofy. It's a crease brush, but it's going to work where I want to do. I'm going to pick up that balance again. And I'm just going to make the top here matte and cleaned up. My Naomi Angle and Bam. She's got a smudger on this end, and you pull it out, and it's also the sharpener. And she is a matte black. So I'm gonna take her and do my smoky. So I'm going to line her up here, just where the black is. I'm going to line just a little bit in the corners here. I'm going to take the smudger on the end 
And I'm just going to blend this out. Another way to do this is you use the shadow from the not cleaned off brush and bring it down as well. That's how you can also smoky. And you guys know that all of Red Aspen's products are named after someone? Fun fact, yep, all of them are named after someone, especially the dashes. They're only named after someone meaningful in someone's life. So, like, the Joy Lash is named after the CEO and CFO? Jeannie. She's the, the product person. She comes up with all the product. Um, it's their mom. She's being a boss babe right now, and she's in charge of a, of a hospital. One hospital or a bunch of hospitals training them how to do survive during um, COVID-19. Okay, so you can see I smoked with Naomi. Love Naomi. So now I'm going to follow it up with Maggie. I've already curled my lashes. So I'm going to put some Maggie on. I'm glad that I can actually use her. I have a thing where I pull out my eyelashes when I get really stressed out. So I haven't had eyelashes. That's one of the reasons why I love Red Aspen is because I found them when I was done using ones that would let me wear them once or twice and they looked really bad. And so I found Red Aspen and they've been here for me ever since. I absolutely love them. They have a special place in my heart to help me make help me feel like myself when I pull out my eyelashes. Which is not a really fun thing. I don't recommend it guys. I don't. And I'm gonna add just a touch of Maggie down here. Only to the lashes that are in the black zone. And that's gonna dram dramatize that smoky too. Okay. Okay. Mascara is dried. Now I'm gonna put on my lashes. I'm gonna pick Miss today. She is one of my go-tos. When I, especially when I can't decide which lash to wear, Miss is there. So I'm gonna get my glue. Shake it. To get her to the glue to be a little bit more opaque. You want it to be opaque. So that it sticks to your line. Okay, now I'm going to position her. Stick it down the middle first. Do the end. Do the end. Mary is where you squish your natural lash and the lap band together. So I'm going to marry up. Make sure she's really down. And blend her with my natural lashes. Ta-da! There's Miss on. Now I'm going to do her on the other side. Okay, there she goes. I've got Miss on both eyes now. Love her. Okay, and there's Miss. Now if you need Miss or fulfilled in your life, I will definitely put the link down below in the comments so that you can shop and find out what else you need in your life. So this was fulfilled and I hope you have a very fulfilled day. Bye.